Today, I'm gonna to make a set of DIY floating shelves for less than $7 a piece. And before we get started, here's your list of materials. To make these shelves, it does not require a ton of tools. I'm using one eight foot piece of lumber for each shelf. I'm gonna start by cutting away the large pieces first. And you can use a handsaw or you can use power tools depending on if you have them or not. If you're using a circular saw, you can use a speed square as a guide while you make your cuts. And of course, if you have a miter saw, this should make quick work of all these cuts. And after all the pieces are cut, I'll end up with four pieces of lumber measuring at 32 inches and four pieces of lumber measuring at six inches. If you're a bit more experienced, then consider using miter cuts for the corners. Now apply wood glue to the joints. To hold this entire shelf together, I'm going to use a half inch dowel. I'm gonna mark the dowel so that it goes through both pieces of wood. And after adding the first dowel, you wanna add a second one on the opposite side so you'll end up with two dowels per corner. Apply wood glue to the dowel and also place glue down in the hole. Hammer the dowel down into the hole until it hit a stopping point. Then take a saw and cut off the excess. You can apply wood filler to fill in all the imperfection or you can leave it as it is, which is the way I'm leaving it. I'm just gonna sand it down with 80 grit sandpaper and then come back with 120 and then 220 to finalize it. The choice is all up to you. You can paint it or stain it. For me, I'm gonna use a R Rubs Brown paint to paint the shelves. And I really like the way this paint looks because when the light hit it, it has this nice, rich look to it. The paint itself, it's pretty thick and after the second coat, you see hardly any brush streaks. After the first coat of paint, it had an ashy look to it, but after applying a second coat of paint, the color really started to come out. And here's a quick tip for you. If you ever want to mount something on a wall and you just wanted to transfer it to the wall easily, then this should work just fine for you. Here I'm gonna take a piece of scrap wood and I'm gonna mark two holes exactly where I want the mounting holes to be. Then I transfer those holes over to the wood. Then I take the same piece of wood and I level that to the wall, mark those holes and it should line up every time. Now trace out the keyhole hanger onto the wood before you drill. And here I'm gonna take a bit to drill out the opening. If you want to keep it simple and easy, just surface mount the keyhole hanger to the back of the shelf. However, if you want it to look much nicer and flat to the wall, you'd want to consider mortising the keyhole hanger into the wood. And I'll show you how you can do that with a drill bit and a razor blade. And now when it comes to mounting the shelf, I'm going to find the center of the wood that I previously used to mark the mounting holes. And once I find the center, I'm gonna use that wood and find the center within the opening that I wish to mount the shelf. While holding the wood level, mark the mounting holes. To mount the shelves, I'm gonna use these plastic screw drywall anchors and each one of these hold up to 50 pounds. If you're new to woodworking and you'd want to get started, consider checking out my limited tools video playlist down in the description. I will be back to posting limited tools projects starting next week. I'm Glenn with DIY Creators and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one.